Let's have a look. Cute. Carmen's gang has pulled another cape though. No time for reading that. Bye bye. Maybe we'll catch it next time around. Is that all the music? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? What is it? Thursday, what? July 1992? We'll come to this in a moment. Oh my goodness. So it's just it playing by itself. Carmen's gang has pulled another caper and it's up to you to crack the case. Well, before we do that, let's take a quick look over here. This is for the Master System version, but I think we can just still read the story blurb. To avoid injury. Oh, I didn't know any of this. Is this going to be in the game? As you're closing the henchman of these with fire bullets, duck, jump or duck to go. I think this is quite the same game. It looks like it though. Let's see. You have to touch the front of the building and press button one. Go to the airport. Move the detector to the airport picture, then press button one. To enter the facts on the crowd computer, enter the phone booth. I don't know if this applies to this version. Maybe we should just play and find out, and if we get stuck, we can consult the manual. The chase is on. Monday, 5 a.m. A ringing sound jars you awake. You grope for the phone and drop the receiver on the floor. Out of the darkness comes the voice of the chief. Wake up, kid. Got an assignment for you. You stumble out of bed, turn on the light, and grab your brand new detective notebook. Just got a call from Interpol, says the chief. Looks like... Carmen's gang has pulled another caper. Any leads, you ask? Not with this bunch. They're too slick. Can't give you any more details on the phone. Better get down to the office double quick. It's going to be a rough one. Right, Chief. As your trembling hand replaces the phone in the cradle, you wonder why you ever got into this line of work. Before this morning, Carmen San Diego and her villains... International League of Evil, vile for sure, were just sensational headlines in the newspaper. For more than five years, she and her gang of felons have managed to stop how the world's most valuable treasures while outwitting every so-called crime expert. From New York to Sydney, now they've struck again, and you, the newest employee of Acme Detective Agency, have been given the near impossible assignment of tracking them down. Good luck to catch a thief. So we have to sign in. What's the thing? One of the ten possible subjects has stolen one of the 90 national treasures and is hiding out in one of 30 foreign cities. Your job is to track down the suspect by collecting clues that will point you towards the city itself or the country in which the city is located. Look at the police dossiers at the back of the booklet for some background on the ten suspects. Any one of them could be a thief. We'll tell you right up front. The higher your detective rank, the tougher the case. Maybe this is going to take a while. Carmen San Diego, the thieves' ringleader, is the most elusive crook of the lot. It will take an ace detective to catch her. Use the special detective's almanac to find facts and follow up the clues. You've got just seven days to solve each case, from Monday morning to Sunday night. So what's the time taking away? Oh no, no time limits, please. Sleuthful hints. I don't know if bullets count in this version. 
Oh my god, is that them? Police dossiers. Carmen San Diego. Known as Buffy. I didn't know that was a thing. Double agent and a triple agent and a quadruple agent. The Auburn Fair founder of the Villains International blah blah blah. Vile. Why is she known as Buffy? Fast Eddie. Merlay Larocque. Love these pictures. Dazzle Ann Nonka. <laughs> Dazzle Annie Nonka. Len Red Bulk. Scar Greenalt. Nick Brunch. Lady Agatha Wayland. Ihor Ihorvich. Catherine Boom Boom Drib. Okay, well, that's quite enough of that. <laughs> Let's go back to the game. So... Presumably, this is okay. I'm going to start the timer and we'll jump in. And it's it's raining this time. At my computer, 64k RAM system, login. Detective at keyboard, please identify yourself. What is your sex? Enter your security access code. If you are new, just press start. Oh, so if we get a code, then we can continue it up later, that's good. Just press start, I did. Flash, national treasure stolen from Rio de Janeiro. Treasure has been identified as the Carnival Queen's crown. Female suspect reported at the crime. Your assignment, track the thief from Rio de Janeiro to her hideout and arrest her. You must apprehend the thief by Sunday, 5 p.m. Good luck, Rookie Moon. Wow. Okay. Rio de Janeiro is Brazil Brazil's second largest city. Famous Sugarloaf Peak overlooks its beautiful natural harbor. What are the options? About Carmen. No. Hmm. Review brief. Okay, we've already read that. So, what's the computer do? Warrant. Oh, we know that she's female. It already said, right? Okay, exit. Oh, so we have to work out who it is as well, don't we? Dossiers. Oh, there's the people. That's good. <gasps> Mary LaRock. Freelance aerobic dancer. <laughs> I Horovic. Oh, wow. Loves eating lobsters, <laughs> watching cartoons, and is fascinated by large marsupials. Strange Ukrainian tattoo on right shoulder.
Oh, let's see Carmen. That face is not very flattering. <laughs> I might have to pinch that. Reddish brown. Never appears in public without her ruby necklace. Great fondness for tacos. What am I supposed to be doing? I need to find a clue. Hotel, library, exchange. I have played other versions of this, so I do know the sort of format. But Hotel manager, the person you're looking for was here, and she asked about the exchange rate for Lyra. Lyra. What, where's Lyra? Can't even think. Do you know? Circulation clerk. A suspicious person was here and she was looking for a book about marble quarrying. She asked, you know, where is it? Is it Italy? Hang on, because this is obviously before the, the Euro. Lira. She asked about the recent tennis match. Ah. Hobby tennis. Hobby mountain climbing. Hobby tennis. So two of them like tennis. Well, let's put that in the thing. Where's Lyra? Yeah, because you need to get the clues and you also and find out where to go next, otherwise the trail runs cold. And then you also need to get cl uh, the clues about who it is you're chasing. Person you're looking for was here and she wanted to invest in marble furnitures. What's famous for marble? Is it Italy? Let's have a see what choices have we got. Travel. Rome. It's not Mexico, is it? Is it Rome? Do you know Nocturne? It's Rome, isn't it? Because Athens is Drachma. Mexico... I don't know. I don't know about... Um, marble. That's got to be Rome. And I feel like Lyra was the old... I've never been to Italy. So I don't really remember the currency back in the day. Lyra. Yeah. Modern day Rome, the capital and largest city in Italy, is the site of many Roman ruins, including the famous Colosseum where gladiators fought before they went to the Euro, yeah. Okay, so let's look for clues here. At the sport club. Oh, there they are. A vile henchman. You must be on the right track. All I know is that she was nervous about crocodiles in the Kagira River. The Kagira River. The person you're looking for was here, and she left in a plane with a red, yellow, and green flag on its wing. She said that she... red, yellow, green... She said that she enjoyed playing tennis. We've got that one. Oh, I love the PC remake of this. The person you're looking for was here. And she drove off in a vehicle, flying a red, yellow, and green flag. Yeah, we know that one as well. You're not very helpful. Travel. Oh, which, which wait, it's not Kai. Is it Kigali then? 
you know what we could do? We can use the tools that are here. Just turn that sound off. Where's my Eternal Champions music? Be quiet. Hush. The Detectives Almanac. Oops. That'll have the flags in. Marley? Wait, what did they say? Red, yellow and green? Rwanda. There's no Kigali here. Oh, is Kigali the city of Ru in Rwanda? Yes. Ta-da! Lovely. I might keep that open. Seems useful. Kigali is the capital of Rwanda, a country of lush jungle terrain, which is home to the endangered mountain gorilla. Oh. What is that face? A suspicious person was here, and she said she was going to survey the Ural Mountains. Sources tell me that she asked for a Slavic cookbook. She said, oh, we know she like well, Everybody keeps telling me tennis. <laughs> Wasting my time. Slavic. I saw the person you're looking for. She wants to buy good crude oil. She had red hair. Thank you. Thank you. Red hair. Oh. Didn't we have a hint about... Oh, we, it was a car. I think. Who has a car? Limousine, it's not you. Is a roadster a convertible? Speeds through the countryside looking for great Mexican restaurants. Reader of upper class English mystery stories. Is that Agatha Christie? maybe these are all men wow well where are we going do you know Oh, Moscow, I guess. That's the only Slavic place there. Moscow. The capital of the Soviet Union is the site of the massive Kremlin compound, one of the homes of the Russian Tsars. Okay. I don't know whether we should be going everywhere, because I'm going to run out of days. Let's go to the bank. There they are.
My sources tell me she changed her money to rupees. She had a fancy ring on. The ring is important. That's got to be India then. A vial strikes again, right? Mary, Mary the Rock. No, Agatha. It must be her then. A roadster is a convertible, right? Can I just do the dossier now? I mean the warrant. Female tennis, red ring, convertible. I love the Carlos Adio games. I don't think I played this one. Or maybe I did like on an emulator years ago, but I played the PC remake of this where you walked around and you had like it looked like cartoon graphics, people just walking to and throw and you could talk to them and ask them questions and you had to find the next place and it was, then you had to find like the person hiding or something. It was pretty cool. The Windows game, I think it was. So this one's all like menu driven. Suspect Lady Agatha. You now have a warrant to arrest Lady Agatha. The early PC CD ROM games. See, I played the PC CD ROM one, but I don't. It didn't look like this. It was a remake, but I think it was from the early, the late 90s, early 2000s. Got a free with a magazine. But it was old at that point. Oh, we're going to India, right? That's rupees. New Delhi. I played Wearing Time is Simon Simon Sandy <laughs> Simon Candy Diego as well. But I played the remake of that. I've never played the original of that one. I've definitely played an older version of this one, but I don't know what it was on. And I also played Mario Was Missing, which is pretty much the same. New Delhi, with a population of more than 5 million, is the third largest city in India. A nation of over 750 million people. At least we don't have to duck the bullets in this one. Oh! Did I just speak that into existence? Rumour has it that the gang is somewhere in town. It's in town somewhere. There goes the suspect. Yes. Oh, we won? Thank you for your help. The Rio de Janeiro police have apprehended Lady Agatha. Lady Agatha had the loot, the Carnival Queen's crown, which will be returned to the grateful residents of Rio de Janeiro. We here at Interpol thank you for your good work. Good job, Moon. You've earned a promotion. Your sleuth. Oh, your new rank is sleuth. Four more cases until your next promotion. Ready for your next case? So this could take a while. Maybe we won't be finishing this tonight. We can get into it though. Ready for your next case? Are you ready? National treasure stolen from Singapore. A treasure has been identified as a statue of Sir Stamford Raffles. Male suspect reported at the scene of the crime. Your assignment trap the thief from Singapore to his hideout and arrest him. You must apprehend the thief by Sunday. I was gonna say it's fairly easy then with the time limit, but I guess I'm also a grown adult playing a game aimed at children, trying to teach them about geography. But I, I wouldn't know the answers to half the stuff if I wasn't checking the almanac or asking chat. Singapore is strongly influenced by Chinese culture. Three quarters of the nation's residents are Chinese. That's a really nice pixel art sort of. It looks like a real photo that does. That's really nice. It's like I'm playing a, a PC DOS game. Let's get those clues. I 
I heard he wanted a tour postage stamp printing plant. All I know is that he flew off in a plane with a blue and white with blue and white on its wing. He said he didn't like seafood. I was about to say, what is this music? It's Legend of Heroes. We've already played this is the sailing music. He flew off in a plane with a blue and white flag on its wing. Said he didn't like seafood. Who could that be? Hates seafood. Or maybe just we need to remember that isn't isn't the person that likes seafood. Well, it's not you then. Loves eating lobster. Gourmet seafood, not you, but you're also a woman, so it's one of those f four, three, I guess. Oh my god, I'm so Press cancel. I heard he left in a vehicle. Oh, we know this. What's a blue and white flag? You know, I had the UK in my head because of stamps. Blue and white? Why would it be blue and white? What's San Marino? Shall we check the almanac or does anybody know the answer? Blue and white stamp factory. To the almanac. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is that how you even say that word? San Marino, Italian. Oh, they also use lira, so that could be tricky. Uh, the world's oldest and smallest republic. I don't even know San Marino. The most serene republic of San Marino is at one tenth the size of New York City. It is completely surrounded by Italy. As benefits its tiny size, one of the main commodities is postage stamps. Sheep graze in the mountains and local artisans produce ceramics. Landmarks Mark Titano, Titano and three medieval fortresses. Sounds like it's that then. San Marino. Country in Europe. What's their flag? Uh, oh my goodness. That made me jump out of my skin. I am not used to having sound effects in my headphones. Thank you for the raid, Jiggy. <laughs> Scared the bejesus out of me. No, you're, you're good. I'm, I'm not used to being able to hear my own alerts. I've got headphones in so I can enjoy the, the music that we're listening to as well. And ooh, I was just reading about San Marino. <laughs> and suddenly I've got Final Fantasy Mystic Quest blasting in my ears. But thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Special events. Welcome in everybody. I'm just chilling, unwinding, 
probably not going to be on super late myself. Doing some Carmen San Diego. Watching the Xbox show. Anything good? I did hear today that The Thing is getting a remaster, but I don't know if that's related to Xbox. Let's go. The Republic of San Marino with a population of 23,000 and an area of only 24 square miles is the smallest and oldest republic in Europe. I don't really know much about this. New Doom. Indie game continues to look great. Perfect Dark. Oh, Perfect Dark. Didn't see that coming. A new game or like a remaster thing? Never actually played Perfect Dark though. A vile henchman. You must be on the right track. Oh, oh yeah. I, I lose track with those things that Metro Prime for. A reliable source told me he wanted to know the exchange rate for pounds. Where could that be? Hmm. Suspicious person was here and he took off in a plane with a red, white and black flag on his way. Never thought about it as black, but I guess. A suspicious person was here and he wanted to buy several tons of sugar. What for the, all the fucking tea? He talked about a croquet match. But I could go and have fun. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Who likes croquet? Not you. Scar Greenall likes croquet. Probably you then. Up oh, so do you. Let's just put it in the thing. Whoops. Hobby is croquet. Nail. Oh, I sh I, there was a thing about the vehicle and I didn't pay attention. Oh well. I, what's the picture of... Wait a minute. <gasps> Sneaky. Wait, what? Sugar? Is this because it's still a colony? Pounds. Did Singapore have pounds then, back then? Oh, that's so sneaky. No, Singapore's currency is the dollar, according to the almanac. What else is there? Uh, New Delhi? Wait, what was the... What's Cairo? Cairo's flag. Their currency's pound. Egypt. Can't even visualize the Egyptian flag right now. There's no Egypt on this arm. Oh, there it is. Red, white, black. That must be it, then. Wait, I must have misread that, then. I thought they said red, white, blue, and black. Maybe I was just inferring it.
Cairo is located at the mouth of the Nile River. It is the largest city in Africa. Where in the world is Mooney San Diego? Good morning, Barface. Did you sleep? A reliable source told me he said he wanted to retrace the route of the Spanish conquist conquistador. What? This can be like the Silk Road, but not. Oh, it's super hard, lad. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. I don't know what that means. I saw the person you're looking for, and he asked for a book about the geology of the Andes. Yes, for a bit. 1pm here now, no obligations to get to, so I can be lazy. Sources tell me he wanted to buy a chop a copper mine. Copper mine, Spanish Quistador, whatever. And whatever that lady said with the glasses, I've already forgotten. Oh my god. Lima? I'm just thinking about Spain. What's Port Moresby? Oh, I love this music. To, does anybody know? Or should we go to the Almanac? <laughs> Almanac. Sounds good. You think so? Oh, let's live a little. Let's risk it. Did you watch much of the TV game show? No. I know the theme tune. But I did watch... Wasn't the woman in the quiz show, though? I think she was in the remake game. You know the, the, the lady with the, the acne agent woman? Did that have Spanish? Yeah. Well, there's loads of Sp Spaniards in, the, in South America during the Age of Exploration, weren't there? Peru, once the centre of the mighty Incan Empire, is a rugged land dominated by the... Oh yeah, there, there's the Andes. I can't remember where the Andes were. Forests and jungles cover half of its land area. A suspicious person was here and he asked for a map of Muang Thai. I saw the person you're looking for, and he left in a plane with a red, white, blue flag. The chief, the black lady, yeah, she's a pretty good actor for just being. I think she she had short, very short hair, and she wore that like blue, red suit thing. I think she was on either where in Time Is Come in San Diego. I think it was. Because the whole game was animated except for the chief, which was an actual human person. Video footage. I played a lot of that. I saw the person you're looking for, and he left in a plane with a red, white, and blue flag on its wing. She was good in the game as well, if it is the same person. Like, too good for a game, almost. If I recall. Sources tell me he wanted to buy black market baths. He had red hair. This music's gorgeous, what's this? Ooh, King Colossus. I'm looking forward to playing this one. I do not know the answer, does anybody? I'm just gonna go get a paracetamol.
know the answer? I have no idea for this one. I've already forgotten the other clues now. Parts and part of vehicle in India. Let's see then. Uh, well, it's not looking. Oh wait, it was the Wang Thai thing, wasn't it? It's was Bangkok. Gotta be Bangkok. Can't remember the flag though. Okay, so now the Indo Chinese and Malayan peninsulas. Thailand is the con only country in Southeast Asia never to have been governed by a European power. Myanmar. Myanmar country? I think so. What I know is that he asked about the exchange rate for Krizados. You also have to remember the, the time that this was made, so currencies and things are not what they are now, but face to countries that are or were countries. Krizados. A reliable source told me he asked for a map of the Amazon Basin. The person you're looking for was here and he was heavily invested in coffee. He had a fancy ring on. Male croquet ring. You. Yeah, when you get the animations, that means we're in the right place. Dun, da, 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 da. What's this, a diamond stick pin? Not him. Nope. Must be this guy. Five carat pinky ring. Okay, so and he drives a limousine. We have a warrant to arrest Scar Grain Olds. And we're going to Wait, did we even get a good hint for this one? Oh, it was the currency thing? I don't remember what it was. Let's check the almanacs, I don't know. I'm guessing it's gonna be that one at the top. What is that, Greenland? Iceland, there we go. Oh, it, maybe not. Currency, Krono, it wasn't that. What was the other choice? This one. Oh wait, there's a, there's other countries. Missed some. Let's zoom it out a bit. Here's a clever way to get kids learning. I mean, I'm learning. Wait, 
up. Have we missed something? Oh, the Amazon Basin, duh. There's gotta be... Rio de Janeiro? Because we've already been to Lima, or was that the other one? Is Rio de Janeiro near the Amazon? What was Brazil's currency then? Oh, it is. I missed it. Cruzeiro. That's the currency. It was the Amazon Basin. I'm reading the almanac now. It was inhabited by native Indian tribes whose few remaining descendants still live in the heavily wooded Amazon Basin that covers half the country. There you go. Brazil, once a Portuguese colony, is the largest country in South America. Oh, I'm going to skip this track. It always gets me fucking muted. Whoops. Ah, shut up. Starlight Zone. No! The word is out, you're getting too close, gumshoe. Doesn't he look like Stephen Fry? <laughs> oh, we're cutting it close with the time limit. There he is. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks to your help, the Singapore police have apprehended Scar Green on. Blah, blah, blah. Good work. Three more cases for your next promotion. Oh, let's do another one. Maybe we'll get to the promotion. Oh, national treasure stolen from London. Treasure has been identified as Albert Hall. They stole the Albert Hall. How can you steal the Albert Hall? It's a building. But it's like they stole Carnegie Hall. Male suspect reported at the scene of the crime. Track the thief from London to his hideout and arrest him. Sleuth Moon. Ah, and there's there's Elizabeth Tower. You see, it all comes full circle. Too bad, dream is not here. <laughs> London, with a population of more than 6.5, is the largest city in the United Kingdom. One of its many landmarks is the Big Ben Clock Tower. See, this is before it had a name. Big Ben Clock Tower. I'm going to tag her in this. And Chrono Gear. <laughs> We were talking about it earlier. Search. My sources tell me he planned to explore Incan temples. Okay, well we know that one. I want to get more clues about who it is. 
think an agriculture. Yeah, can you tell me about the person? Or is it always the third place that tells you the thing? In a vehicle flying, well, it's got to be a car. Red and white flag. Fight that palace guard. Oh, wait, Incan. Lima, right? Peru, once the centre of the mighty Incan Empire, is a rugged land. Yeah. A suspicious person was here, and he said he was planning to climb Mount Karasimbi. Don't know where that is. The person you're looking for was here, and he was researching pygmy creation myths. Is that like Papua New Guinea? Or South America? Sources tell me he drove off in a vehicle flying a red, yellow, and green flag. What's Colombo? Sri Lanka. either of these. Rwanda. Oh wait, it is Rwanda. You needn't fear the pigmen, pygmies, landmarks, Vulcan, Karasimbi, and Lake Kivu. Kigali looks suspect. We've been we've been there before, but on a different mission, I think, not this one. Is I was thinking like the Mummy Returns, isn't that? And that where's that set? It's that set in South of the Scorpion King. Sources tell me he was practicing French pronunciation. I heard he was researching textiles and fashion design. This is just France then. Sped him in a vehicle. Oh my god, can you tell me about the person? These are just three hints of the location. I don't know anything about him. Oh, what a horrible picture for France. Like grey sky. <coughs> 
Paris, the capital of France, is the centre of art and culture and the home of the world famous Eiffel Tower. A reliable source told me he changed his money to Lira and he was driving a limo. There's more than one place that is Lira, I noticed by the way when I was flicking through. Italy and that other place that we went to before, San Marino. So he's in a limo on Menacevo. Yeah, it looks like Apocalypse in France. A suspicious person was here and he took off in a plane with a crescent and f star flag on its wing. He mentioned he liked seafood. Seafood and was it limo? Can't be him again. We've just got him. Oh no, he doesn't. He he doesn't. Like <laughs> Limousine loves eating lobster. It's probably you then, isn't it? going though. Crescent, moon and a star, but also Lyra. Is Istanbul Lyra too? What is that then? Is that like a legacy from the Roman era? Oh, it's Turkey. For some reason I was thinking it was more Middle Eastern. Lyra. The flag seems right. Yeah, the flag was making me think it was more like um, Pakistan. When did when was is when was Constantinople? No longer Constantinople. So what's Istanbul? Istanbul is the current one. Major city in Turkey. Constantinople, now called Istanbul, was the capital of the Turkish Ottoman Empire. Nice picture there. Got to run out of days. A reliable source told me he wanted to know if there were any five-star hotels on the Ganges plain. Ganges, isn't that India? I know my tomb reader. I really want a clue about the suspect. Please don't just tell me about India. A vehicle. That everybody keeps telling it a fucking vehicle flying a shit flag. Ugh. Kathmandu. I'm not gonna be able to arrest him because I don't have a warrant. I suppose because I've already arrested two of them, it probably I can eliminate them. Unless they escape. Kathmandu, with a population of about 422,000, is located in the Himalayan mountains and is Nepal's only large city. That's a lovely picture as well. Current clues now it down enough, maybe. We've still got a couple of days left though. 
Oh, I think we're already in the right place. Shit. The only thing I can tell you is to watch your step. I don't have enough, I don't even have enough clues. What do we got? Mail, limousine, and seafood. And bulk. Not you. Scar Grey Knoll. Uh, probably not you, because we've already arrested him. Not you. Not you. Convertible. Must be this guy. So what is he? Blonde, likes croquet, has tattoo. Okay. Oh my god, even the search warrant takes time? Suspect. We got it. Thanks to your help, the little police have apprehended Ihor Ihorovich. And he had the Albert Hall, which will be returned to the grateful residents of love. How, I still am perplexed to how he managed to steal the Albert Hall. Like, how do you get that through customs? Ready for your next case? Two more cases until your promotion. Shower. Flash. National treasure stolen. They've stolen the Serendip Ruby. See, that's more plausible. Not an entire building. See, they already tell you male suspects. That's kind of the first thing. Done. Population of 1.2 is the capital of and principal city of Sri Lanka, an island nation located off the southeast coast of India. I saw the person you're looking for, and he said he was researching volcanic activity. I liked the ring he had on. Well, there could be a few places that have volcanic activity. All I know is that he asked for a monograph of Hutu economics. It's going to be like Hawaii? The choices we've got. Kutu, is that a spelling mistake? Is it Tokyo? What's the other clue? Red, yellow, green, so it's not Japan. Red, yellow, green. I mean, there's no. Are there volcanoes in Africa? Maybe it's South America. Oh, wait. Isn't there a vol. There's volcanoes near, like, Italy, isn't there? Could be San Marino. Let's check San Marino. I don't even know anything about San Marino. <laughs> 
three medieval fortresses. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, maybe it's gonna be Peru again. I've already forgotten what they said about the flag. Peru. Looking for that word Kutu. Maybe it's Rwanda again. We keep going back. Power over the Hutu. I thought it was Kutu. Did I read that wrong? Does it say anything about volcanoes? Vulcan. Does Vulcan mean it's a volcano? It's Rwanda's flag. Must be Rwanda. Every we keep ending up in Kigali. Just like get a house here. My sources tell me he changed his money to you want your wands, wands. A reliable source told me he was looking for books on Shang Dynasty art. He bragged about dangerous sports. Mountain climbing or skydiving? I'll leave it as skydiving for now. Shang Dynasty. Peking? With a population of over 5 million, is the second largest city in the People's Republic of China. Ba 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 person you're looking for was here and he said he wants to climb, ma climb Mount Karkar. Mount Karkar. I saw the person you're looking for and he left in an outrigger flying a red, yellow and black flag. He had black hair. What's an outrigger? Is it a type of car? Red, yellow, black. Black hair. Look at these profiles. Fast Eddie B. Maybe it's you. Croquet is not really a dangerous sport, though, is it? Nick Brunch. Mountain climbing, black. What's an outrigger? Is that a motorcycle there? Maybe it's this guy. We haven't arrested him. Oh, he likes mountain climbing too. But he's got red hair. It must be Nick Brunch. I might do the last one anyway. What I know is that he drove off in a vehicle flying a red, yellow, black flag. He had a large ring on. Uh. 
Why is there a palace guard here? Port Moresby. Well, we've just been to Kigali, haven't we? So it must be Port Moresby. Papua New Guinea, Port Moresby. Mount Karkar, okay, this is it. Papua New Guinea became an independent nation in 1975. Its nearest neighbours are Indonesia and Australia. Oops. Yeah, it probably would be a good idea to check what the choices are and then read the hints because it will make more sense then. Sources tell me he wanted information on French colonial history. I liked the ring he had on. Must be Montreal. Looking up outrigger is an odd one. It says something like stabilizers for a large vehicle. Hmm. I even get one more hint about who it is. Pretty sure we know anyway. He drove in a vehicle. Ugh. Whatever. Montreal. Canada is a parliamentary democracy and is part of the British Commonwealth. Its capital, Ottawa, is located in the province of Ontario. Ooh. A suspicious person was here and he wanted to study Saxon manuscripts. Would that be the UK? My sources tell me he wanted. Tell me he asked about night flights to Orkney Islands. What? It's got to be the UK, right? For Saxon. Where's Budapest? What's the Orkney Islands? Is that the UK? Oh yeah, the Orkney Islands are the northmost tip. Oh, it's Scotland. Constitutional monarchy under a queen. Not anymore. Oh, I love this music. Da da da. That photo. It's kind of sad. Just imagining like this game in the nineties, like on a a CRT, and I imagine like the picture that was taken. Some like nice day in the 90s, probably in the UK when they took this post, probably the 80s actually. Ta and we know what time it was taken. 1.35 in the afternoon. Let's get the warrant going. Skydiving black. I, mean, I think it's mountain climbing though. And the bicycle, motorcycle. Mountain climbing black ring. Not you. Who 
que es hem Nick Brunch. We're missing all the men. I suppose that makes it harder though, because at the end there'll be only women and probably harder challenges. Wait, what are we doing? more case for your next promotion. No, we'll do one more. The treasure has been identified as the Watusi King's headdress. It's all about Kigali. I heard he's changed his money to dollars. I know is that he was doing research in the economics of rubber plantations. Sources tell me he was going to play polo with the president. Oh wait, I was waiting for America to be there. Um, I don't know. Polo, Robert, Buenos Aires, Singapore. Where's Buenos Aires? Singapore, so says the Almanac, one of the largest ports, its major industries are ships, lumber and rubber, currency of the dollar. Is the currency in Singapore still the dollar? I wonder. Singapore. It's still the dollar. All I know is that he was researching modern methods of postage stamp production. We've already seen stamps, I can't remember where they are. I heard he checked out books about ceramic production. All I know is that he wants to buy postage stamps hot off the presses. He had a large ring. Only one guy left. Uh, I don't remember. Is it San Marino doing the stamps? Postage stamps, yeah.
and ceramics. Okay. Hello. San Marino located. We have stamps already. I've learned nothing. <laughs> this game looks fun. Have you ever played Carmen San Diego? Located on the slopes of Mount Tano is the capital and only city in the Republic of San Marino. Oh, I've read that already. Couldn't find it to play. Saw the person you're looking for, and he had a French dictionary in his briefcase. He had red hair. Should we just go to France? Call it a day? I think I already know who did it. Because I think, I'm pretty sure there's only one guy left. If, if that's how the game works. Like, unless they do repeats. Lambolk. Wait. Huh? Have we done Fast Eddie B? No, we haven't done him yet. How can he have red hair and a ring? Do I have any red hairs with rings? Oh. Ha we've... Haven't we already arrested him? So this must be a repeat. Bugger. That's annoying. I'm gonna do the other clue then, just in case. So much time. No, I don't want about the flag. Red and white flag. Wait, what? French? Red and white. Red and white, so it's Canada. And there it is. Sources tell me he wants to buy stock in a company that manufactures designer jeans. He left in a rowboat flying a red, white, blue flag. He had a large ring on. A rowboat? Why do you say robot when there's no choice for a robot? French Canada. Do any of these mention robots? flag. Oh, we're in Canada right now. Where can we go, though? What were the clues? New York, Mexico City, San Marino. Oh, I can't remember what the clues just were.
Red, white, and blue flag. Designer jeans. Oh, I just I read that one. It's a waste of time. Designer jeans. Let's have a look. Maybe Mexico. Uh, the red, white, blue flag is a clue. Oh, it's fucking America, isn't it? <laughs> Jeans in America. New York is one of the largest, most important cities. It is the center of world trade, finance, and publishing art. Levi's. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I saw the person you're looking for. He wants to study Saxon manuscripts. Well, we've already had that clue before. UK. Here's the change of a pounds. He had a large ring on. I already know he had a ring. Give me a better clue. London. We're getting repeats on clues already. Oh, we're already here. Do I have enough to nail him? Red hair and a ring. That's all I know. And probably a car. They all drive cars. Red hair. Not you. It must be Scar Green all again. We've already done him. Limousine. Guitar. Okay. No, don't change that. Here it goes. <laughs> thing I can tell you is to watch your step. There goes the suspect. Thanks to your help, the Kigali police have apprehended Scar Greenall. Watusi's King's headdress. So we definitely already did him. What was it, didn't we? We're here at Interpol. Thank you for your good work. You've earned a promotion. Your new rank is Private Eye. Seven more cases until the Oh my god. So, we're Private Eye. What if I say no? Do I get a password? This is your sec current security access code. You will need it to continue your career. Please write it down. MBZ. Case. Oh, I press start instead of that. Private Eye Moon. Oh no, so it did work. 
But anyway, I'm not going to continue tonight because I'm pretty tired. And it's been a long, long, long time. One hour and 25 minutes, Carmen San Diego. Just jot that down. Steric moon, private eye. There we go. 